Hey guys, Mitchell from Minifig Make with another haul. This is what, 64, I think. Um, this is from the Lego store. Uh, as you can see, big gold well not very big, but Lego store bag. Um so let's get right into it. Uh they gave me a July calendar. Uh, not too much to say there. Not really interested in flashback shredder, so yeah. Oh, there's my sig big. Hi sig big. Right there. There he is. Um I picked up three sets. First one I got was uh, a Lego City set, Arctic, uh, the Arctic Snowmobile, uh, 60032. This was seven bucks. Really liked uh, the minifig, the printed piece on the front there, the ice boulder, the crystal inside. Uh, just a lot of nice stuff in here, and the new snow ski pieces. And uh, yeah, so this will be. Uh, the next thing that I review after Lunk. They didn't have any Mixels at that particular location. They were all sold out, and they're getting them tomorrow, which is kind of funny. But, um, yeah. I was going to pick up Fleur, but whatever. I'll pick them up later in my travels. Uh, next up, a, another mi a Micro Fighter set. Uh, 75033 Star Destroyer. Uh, $10, obviously, as all Micro Fighters are. Uh, I was going to pick up the X-Wing, but they didn't have it, so I picked up the Star Destroyer. I knew I wanted to get a Micro Fighter as part of my purchase. So, the final thing I picked up. Um, this wasn't a huge haul, like I said, but... Yep. Uh, in a very bulging box, for some reason, picked up the Vulture Droid 75041. I uh, really like the look of this set. Um, Vulture Droids are very cool. And, uh, yeah. What I don't understand is why this thing has a cockpit. It, in Star Wars, these things are unmanned drones. Vulture droids are unmanned in real Star Wars Lego. And uh, and it's interesting that they put a cockpit in there because all the previous versions accurately did not have a cockpit. So, I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, there's my haul for today. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.